Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and today I've got 19 different locations that you can use to easily escape or evade the cops in Need for Speed Unbound. Let's go! All right, before we get into the video, I have to give credit where credit is due. This video is coming to you guys, courtesy of one of the best and most dedicated fans of the channel, Babtanian. He has made a tremendous roadmap, actual physical maps that you guys can look at and screenshot with numbered locations and spots on the map where you can actually follow and remember where these escape locations are. So shout out to him. He made everything in this video. I've just put it together and I've released it here for you guys. So Babtanian, you are absolutely a legend for the channel and for the community. I thank you, sir. All right. Let's get into it. First up, I want to talk about the evasion locations and the difference between evading and escaping the cops. The evasion is something that is a move or a jump or a location where you can, you know, throw them for a loop. You can sort of trick the cops with your movement. That doesn't mean that you'll instantly escape them or you'll be able to just sit there and turn your engine off. These are places where you will jump and then land and have to continue running from them. However, they will definitely be off your tail. They won't be as close to you. It'll give you some breathing room. It'll give you a chance to plan your next move. So let's get into the first one. All right, first up, the jumps over water. This is in the North Oaks location. What you can do is approach from either the north or the south as shown and you can hit the ramps over this water. There are three ramps in this location that will jump you over the Marina Canal, two on the north side and one on the south side. And next up, you can jump over this gap. This is at the bridge repair at North Oaks. If you approach from the east in the construction zone and hit the ramp, this is another jump activity location. The ramp will allow you to jump over a broken section of the highway and there's a safe house nearby. So as soon as you make the jump, you should be able to get to that safe house. Next up is the jump onto the highway. But this time in the trailer park near Southland Drive, you want to approach from the northeast in the trailer park and then hit the ramp. This is actually one of the jump activity locations. The ramp will allow you to jump a very large distance onto the highway above. Again, you should lose any cops that are on your tail. The next evasion location is a jump onto the highway again. Now this one is in the Lakeshore Quarry area. You can approach from the east and you will hit the ramp. This is not a traditional ramp, but it's a large construction conveyor and it will allow you to jump a large distance up onto the highway above. And this usually will allow you to get rid of these cops. Now, if something spawns on the highway, obviously you have to deal with that. But the ones that are on your tail, you should be able to get rid of those. And lastly, for the cop evasion locations, there are two different jumps on the ski resort. Now, if you haven't been to the ski resort area, this is an awesome, awesome jump. These are like two big giant ski jumps. You can approach from the west and use either the north or the south jump. It doesn't really matter. There are two jumps in this location. Either one has the same effect. There's really no difference between these two. And just so you know, there's a short tunnel that's just to the north of where you land from this jump. So you can take the jump, lose the cops on your tail, hide in the tunnel for any type of helicopter activity. Let's move on to the cop escape locations. These are locations that you should escape the cops very, very easily just by jumping into these locations and simply waiting. The first one up, L train platform in Palomar. Approach from the east in the open brick paver area and hit that ramp. Once your car is on the platform, remain aware as cops will occasionally follow you up there. Next, we've got another L train platform jump in Apollonia. You can approach from the west by the gas station and then hit the concrete ramp. Again, this is not a traditional ramp, but a concrete stairway that you can use as a ramp. So keep your speed between 60 and 75 miles per hour to avoid overshooting the platform. 
the L train platform in Cyril Heights. Approach from the north, drive along the left sidewalk and hit that ramp. Once your car is on the platform, remain aware as cops will occasionally follow you up there. It's really not likely, especially if you are quick with your turn onto this street. I think you should be safe to jump up there and hang out, but just look behind you just in case. Next, we've got another L train platform in Douglas Park. Approach from the east, drive along the right sidewalk and hit the ramp. Once your car is on the platform, remain aware as the cops again will occasionally follow you up there. Next, we've got another L train platform in University Central. Approach from the east, drive straight up to the incline onto the platform. This is not a ramp or jump. There is a passage between the two buildings that allows you to drive directly onto the L train platform. Next, we've got another L train platform in the University Central area. Approach from the south, drive along the right side and then hit the ramp. You should drive along the right edge of the road not on the sidewalk and keep the speed below 100 miles per hour so you don't overshoot it apply the brakes immediately upon landing or else you will fall off next up is the river bridge in southland drive enter near the factory with the smokestack just east of the bridge position the car under the bridge in the narrow area between the riverbank and the concrete support pillars and you should be able to lose the cops there there's some sort of problem they can't see you on that side of the pillars and so you end up escaping The next up is the containers at Edgewater Port. There are ramps from the north and the south that will allow you to jump onto the containers. The east location is a little bit taller and a safer choice. Next up, we've got the storm pipe in Jefferson Hills. Simply drive into the pipe and go as fast as possible. Cops will follow you into the pipe and even match your speed, but will get super disoriented near the middle of the run, so just keep going and you should definitely lose them. And lastly, we've got this construction conveyor in Jefferson Hills. Jump off the large dirt pile onto the conveyor ramp. You need a couple seconds to perform a burnout and build full burst NOS. So this is honestly not the best situation because it's a little bit risky when you have high heat. So use this as a last resort. You really shouldn't be here, but if you can make this jump onto that conveyor ramp, you're going to be completely safe from the cops. But if you're in this area anyways, you might as well take the storm pipe instead. All right, guys, and that is it for this video. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching. And once again, shout out to Babtanian for being a very generous human being and sharing all of this information and making all of these graphics and recording all of these clips so that this community could benefit from his research. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wouldn't mind going over to his YouTube channel, he's got a bunch of Unbound gameplay that you can watch there. And this guy is just a very solid, solid dude. So I'd appreciate if you guys showed him some love and subscribe to his channel. All right. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to all the Heat 5 members of the channel. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.